Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Old Potato. His name is Rhapsody. We are making our triumphant return to Slipways. Rhapsody, how do you feel about this? Incredibly good. Are you kidding me? We're finally actually getting to dig into the Slipways campaign. Dude, I'm, I'm so hyped. I mean, we have not played Slipways in well, a long time. But also, mm -hmm. uh, the, the campaign the campaign didn't even exist, I don't think, the last time that we properly played, right? Nope. And a bunch of quality of life additions have happened in that meantime as well that could be really, really useful for the series in particular. Yeah, it's, it's worth noting that just before we jump into the, uh, into the campaign, there's like a couple of specialized uh, sort of resources and... I guess, modifiers that apply to each of the campaign, which makes it more interesting and more sort of special than just a normal run, but it also has all of the sort of default elements and strategies that you need to consider as part of a, a regular Slipways run. Uh, we're going to be playing on Challenging, I think. It's probably a good place to start, and if it's too easy, we can go we can go up, or if it's too difficult, we can go down. But I feel like Challenging is challenging. You, you know what I mean? It's like I a, couldn't agree more. I, I don't think tough I don't think I want to go down though, because like I feel like it's got to be challenging or tough. But we are veterans, aren't we? We are we are real veterans of this game. We are veterans, but uh, my, my my joints got a little bit of rust on them. That's true. That's true. And actually, speaking of rust, we're not going to be mining rust. We're going to be mining Isium over the course of this mission. And uh, we have a couple of mission-specific goals here. We've got 25 years to mine 140 units of the stuff, and we need to invent at least one Isium-related technology. And Isium is a special mineral that you can mine on a couple of planets. Uh, which planets? Which planets? Which planets? Which planets? I can't remember. Which well, it, planets it are depends. It, it can spawn on any of them. Oh, yes, that's true. All right. We ready? Absolutely. Okay. Give me your, give me your top three, give me your top three heroes for this Avengers level fight. Okay, so one thing we're going to have to worry about is we have to create robots and water because they are the things that are going to be able to mine the Isium for us. Okay. So people who have a better time with natural or non-natural resources. So yes, yeah, something like Silthid especially. Uh, especially if you go Silthid, we can see that Silthid has the perk for getting both, uh, the other one, for getting both the, uh, the robots as well as the microchips Ooh. from the multi-purpose factory at the same time, which if we also took Bakar here, and Bakar happens to have the geothermal plants, that is exactly what he- Oh, we don't have geothermal plants, damn. Subatomic cracking? Subatomic cracking, though. Uh, it is worth noting that there are specific Isium techs, which I guess was hinted at in the little option earlier, but they're, uh, they depend on which of the heroes we choose here. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. No, so you were saying no geothermal for our friends yeah. the car here. Yeah, there's no geothermal in the car, which would have been a good way to utilize the, the excess microchips we're otherwise going to be generating. Because it's going to be rough if the only use we have for microchips is, like, research and uh, populating jungles, I think it is. <clears throat> you're correct. Yeah, I think you're right. Jungles Why don't you and... have a look at uh, Vittori for us, though? And swamps as well. Jungles and swamps, I think. Oh. Orbital. Orbital labs. Labs, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... What do we got? Easium study, delivering easium to people producing planet makes an additional two, res uh, two research. That's pretty good. That's not bad. I I think we could actually forge a non-research research plan if we took Vittori here. Because Vittori has the perk for getting the extra 10 science at the very start. And if we took that and then we found just a, uh, just a forebear ruin, we would be able to immediately get orbital labs and then start setting those up. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's very interesting because it le it does lead into a better tech as well. I know for yeah, deep study. Yep. So which gives you plus one science from all of the orbital labs you have. It does mean that we're not going to be able to upgrade any of the planets with another project. I'm just thinking: is there any other project that we 
Do we care about? Not with the people we currently have on. Do we? Do we really want Bakar? Like, I wanted to check out Bakar at the absolute least to see if we had the geothermal vents to play with. But if we don't, I don't know. Is is it still Bakar? We could start I... thinking about how do we fix our end game. And Vittori have teleporters, right? So that helps fix our entire galaxy if we really want it. But do Aphorians have hyperlane? Maybe there's some interest there. It's funny you should say that. I was actually, I was really thinking, Aphorians for for trade tech, just something to generate cash, you know, in in the late game mm. as we're starting to scale. They've they've got the economic zones. Yeah. They've got a lot of late game cash. In Hyperdrive. Actually, yeah. their easy mobility is that uh, it gives yeah fifty percent extra trade income. So if we have Ooh. that. The short range teleports as well as Isium study, both of those Ooh. are going to be benefiting colonies because it has to be producing people. So they're the best resource generation in the entire game. So I think the we'll we'll get into this obviously later, but um but one of the things that or one of the issues with Isium is that once you start mining it, I think you do get a slight profit from it, but not much. So it's mostly yeah, just it's a drag 10. on resources. It's yeah. it's ten for colonizing and connecting to it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I think this is our team. What are you thinking with regards to the second perk here? What are you... I, I just want to circle back to our decision to get the Vittori. Uh, sorry, not the Vittori, the, um, the, the Silphid. Because uh -huh. I think that's the one that's gone the least checked here. Because its benefit okay. was immediately replaced by other things. Um, I will say one good thing that Silphid has going for it is we have Tourist Resort on Aphorian. And if Silthid has the uh, the multi-purpose factory perk that they start with, and then they also pick up the repurposing perk that they have in the middle of their tree at the moment, it says anything that is generating, uh, yeah, anything that is generating robots will make a good. Anything that's making a good will make a robot. So you'll have oh. one single Forge World giving three of the final resources needed to a tourist resort. Dude, that's that's gotta be. We gotta try that. We gotta that's try that. That's kind of sick, right? That's <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I love I love that. Okay, all right, that's great. Okay, I think this is this is the team. But what are we what are I'm we down. thinking with regards to the second perk? It's it's gotta be the ten, right? Because you we want to go for the orbital labs. It's a really good way to get ourselves like off to a really good start in terms of our science. I don't disagree. Let's do this. Let's make it so. Help as they it. say. Okay. Right. We got an Isium production sort of per year. We got a total up here. We got uh we got our, our team on mm -hmm. the ground. And we can actually already do more research. Now, if we are gonna if we are gonna take quantum sensors at some point in this game, I'd mm -hmm. I'd pitch that it's now. Uh, so I don't disagree. However, uh, if we find one forebear ruin, we can immediately get the orbital lab. And the first thing we're going to do is create a colony. I suppose that is going to be, like, absolutely insane. Potentially having research from year one, which I don't yep. think I've <laughs> ever done before. <laughs> I, I don't know if we can do it from year one, because any colony is going to need two inputs at least. Well, I guess not Earth. It doesn't. Oh, no, it needs to be established. You're right. It, it needs to be established. Yeah, it needs to be established for us to put it down. Okay. Uh, that's four high quality mm. sources up there. Five mediums. It's a bit of split map. Yeah. Uh, we can cover in. Oh, I like I like the three you've just outlined there. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's pretty decent. Okay. Oh. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I like that. Oh, look at, look at that multi-purpose factory. That's pretty sick. Okay, so there's there's something there's something here, you know. Uh, so that's nice. There's something. We've got mineral next to a forge well. That's a that's an easy something, but we're probably not going to want to do it just yet. Uh, yeah, I'll do. I think that is slightly better. Oh, okay, Earth-like. And that's, that's a swamp next to it, so that's only going to require a single robot in order to get us some wheat. Okay, and... Yeah, yeah, it's got to yeah. be those four. 
Okay. Um, okay, yeah, so you can make a closed system there. It's not a good one. Yeah, it's like, uh, Earth people, and then the mineral planet rock, and then rock into, uh, robot, robot up to the swamp world to make wheat. Like, it's a closed system, but it sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I, I see what you I see what you've got going on here. Also, this it this does, feature pinning. You are right. It does have Very excess cool. of uh of of uh of of the of the microchips if we'll let it. Mhm. Mm Which could also go over there, potentially. Not not this connection, but the microchip mm. can definitely go here. Uh. We got up here. Easium robots. Ah. Right click instead of left click. There we go. Okay, we can do we can do that as uh, as well over there potentially. Although, does it only produce? It it's only, only produces a single robot until it gets to the second le uh, third level, sir. <clears throat> okay, that's that's actually not crazy. Because I mean, there's also there's also more minerals from over yonder. Mm. We I mean, we I'm... are still hanging on all of the the microchip there. Like it can yeah. be used to establish the colony, but then the colony has its own dependencies. I think we probably need to look at the other three if you can get them. To... Oh, can you get any more with that? Mm. Just... Ah. What do you think is no. more? We, we need the ones most central to our galaxy because they have the most connection points we can create. There it is. Oh, that ruin. So oh. that maybe causes us to rethink this plan a little bit. Maybe. Any chance? Maybe. Of, so there is a chance of a colony there. Microchips are still useful. Now getting wheat today is a bit difficult. Yeah. That's not. Actually, that might be within range. Just the asteroid in the middle. If you colonize one, you can just drag over the asteroid and you'll still be able to see it. It is. It's very yeah. col it's very it's very doable. So what do we need? <laughs> I really hate doing food production on Arctic. It just it feels so grim. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 pretty rough. Uh I really don't want to food produce on the Arctic. If we get a food production up, I want it to be able to give food to multiple areas. The um the the this? jungle world that you currently have is sorry. What about this? Oh. By golly, he's cracked it. Um, could you it give works. me a look at the uh the the swamp world to the north, please? Oh, dude. Yeah, that'll colonize off that as well. That's incredible. He's cracked. <laughs> uh, and yeah, just Wait, to make sure uh, that is, is that gonna have it's it. It's got enough range. Yeah. My man. You're I think that's it. Absolutely huge. I think that's. Start clicking in any appropriate manner. You probably want to get uh, the, the largest amount of trades and one of the colonies up before the end of the year. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because colonies only. Colonies do what? Take three months. <laughs> oh, right, they'll all take three months. They'll all take three months. Uh, yeah, none Oof. of these do a two-way trade. Yeah, <clears> none <throat> of it. This does, none of it feels good. That goes from, let me try, I think maybe this, this. I mean, it's sick. whatever I do is redundant anyway. Do we maybe right. want to take this asteroid, given that, let's be real, we're probably not going to colonize this Arctic? I guess we might. Um... It doesn't push us over the year, does it? Don't we have two more months? No, we got one more. This is it. Okay. Yeah. You want to take? You want to take it? I feel like taking it's not a bad play here. Yeah, and I, I, I think you know the month is valuable here. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Let's have a look. So three options, three units of uh, of chips, a bio lab, production of goods. Okay, give me give me your top two. What are your top two? What's your take? So, uh, our Forge World 
has one robot that it's capable of exporting. It's not going to be able to get to a second level because we're not going to be able to get another rock in it. So we have to just know that this Forge World is going to be contained until we get like teleporters or something like that. Because it's about to be enclosed in this in the middle of the system. Correct. Yeah. So foregoing that, uh, we do have two colonies, so it wouldn't be too difficult to try and get some some goods up. Um, I think it's going to be really difficult to justify creating three more microchips this soon. I mean... Is there a reward that we care about from any of the particular... Not really. No, nah, not, not really. We don't we don't care about a, a a specific a specific mission. Um yeah, not not being able to take Vittori does hurt. <laughs> yeah, the big research boost is is nice. I, I think it's but, these two. For my money, it's the You think it's those two? So it yeah. is uh is the uh what's it called? The remnant planet over to the left. Is that playing into your plans? Is the idea that you're gonna just give that the ability to trade people for microchips and then it trades it back to both of the colonies that are asking for them? That's actually a sickeningly good idea that I did not consider. It's, it's a way that does it and it gets multiple two-way trades up. I don't think it creates three microchips though. I think it creates two and you'd have to give it water to get more. Yeah, that is true. Although to be fair, I mean, there's probably water like out, out in, you know, in this vicinity somewhere. Almost certainly, but do we want to start immediately planning around that? Because, like, no. what what else could create three microchips? Well, um, this. This uh, this Forge World here. Has to get to level three still to be able to do that. That's true, but that's already two of our three microchips. I, I put it this way. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not thinking that it's going to be easy to do the microchip thingy. I'm just thinking it's going to be more of a pain in the backside to do a lab with biomass because... Mm. I mean, we we don't. Let's be honest. We don't have a great record using biomass. I feel like just it's just one of those resources that goes under we, the radar in a major way. I, I I feel like it does because we are often you know avoiding taking Dender as often as we could, and D Dender can use it so well. Like Dender yeah. can do so many things where it's just I will take a biomass and here's a wheat. Enjoy. It's like no need for any robots. You bypass robots. Yeah, I have a small brain though. I have small brain, you know? That's my problem. And we are working with two small brains. So we, we are we have seeing two whether brains. or not <laughs> we can get those to, you know, be the equivalent of one. Two heads one big one brain kind of situation. Yeah. One yeah, GG brain. Uh, look, let's agree. We're definitely taking a Forian. Um, uh, yeah. I think, I, th I think, you know, I, I'm like 49, 51 on the others. You you go your direction, which I think was uh, silted. Or if you'd prefer to do Vittori, that's fine too. You know what? Let's give ourselves a challenge. I, always yeah. a contrarian. This this small brain strikes again. <laughs> oh man, getting these colonies hooked up is gonna be so good. It is gonna be. We're gonna have two orbital labs we can put down immediately. Okay. We get the trades up and running. So that's that's it. The Obviously, income. we still need to get the still need to get the other colony up and running. Uh, the question is, do you want me to make this connection now so that we can Absolutely. get the orbital labs by the end of the year? Oh, Ooh, wow! We we <laughs> that gives wow. us the end of the Euphorians mission, but we have to do the Euphorians mission to get it. <laughs> that's. That's true, but also, I mean, that's great. It's, like, that's, that's so a lot good. of robots. That's a lot of robots, my man. Because there's, there's not that... I mean, I guess there is one good, uh, one colony around there. And we could make Cornelius a colony as well. Also, there's a lot of robots requirements around here. This is, this is, this is good. I like this a lot, actually. This is, uh... Yeah, this is, this is good. This is very good. Okay. Uh, I don't, set up indeed. I don't want to get that set up. I want to do. Oh yeah, we want to do the tech. So we want to do orbital labs. Mhm. Mm and we want to yoink. Ah, oh, just a, just a. That's such a shame. We are. 
unfortunately, seven bucks away. Dang, missing out on that one science. I know, that is... <laughs> we could send out a scan. I mean, we are going to need to scan some of the areas that we've just revealed so that we can create better colonies. I would I would pitch for north, probably, I imagine. Uh, yeah, if you can get that fall, that's great. Yeah. Especially because we have the wheat production up there. Oh, oh, baby. That's good. That's really good, in fact. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Yeah, exactly. Can that reach down to the mineral world? The one that's uncolonized? It can. Oh, it can. That's... This wheat world is is crazy. I actually think that this... I think this is a better can... I think the ocean world's a better candidate for a colony. And in fact, this swamp world could become a biomass yes. world. And then the biomass yes. world can become a lab at some point up here. Absolutely agreed in every way. I was, uh, I, I was a way to suggest it myself. Okay, all right. The real question is... What is the order of operations from here onwards. Because we're a little cash-strapped at the moment. We're not going to be cash-strapped for long because we have a lot of potential, a lot of money. There's obviously the potential for an orbital lamp. Uh, mm. Also, there's solar farms as well, which would allow us to use all of our chips microchips you're not wrong i would like to see an arid or a desert that's in a position we're happy to use it right now because currently we've got an arid and a desert but both of them are easium deposits that's a really good call um okay. i'll say uh can you have a look at the cost of what it, so it's five to set up the mine what's it to set up the colony on the um ocean well please Eight. Eight. So five, eight. The connection between the two of those is probably going to be like 13, five, eight, 13. So 26 in order to get both of those probably up and connected. 16. Yeah, no, we can get one. Good. One connected. Um. Well, I mean, we, we'd we want to go for the, the, the two-way connection and the establishment of yeah. the extra colony. Just for the extra money. Uh, In fact, if we... If we're fine with popping the asteroid that is between our forge and mineral worlds we can finish our connections here and have like a really profitable year you mean uh, this one mm -hmm. mm, i feel like if we're gonna do you that do it in a different order i feel like we should do this connect that get that set up that set up, that set up, and then pop that. I think that's sure. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, oh, yeah. you're one month short of being able to do that, create the mine, and then connect to it. Yeah, the mine will put you over the year. Uh, it's only like two gold. It's, it's up to you as to whether you think it's worth just skipping here or... Uh... Well, it'd, it'd be send out two scans if we're, send out if two we're scans. holding on this point. That's true. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's do two scans. Where do you want to scan? It's uh, it's your call. Uh, I think to the left, that five. Okay, that's a that's an arid in a reasonable position, and also yeah, that's a forebear we can connect to. We could just connect to the forebear and call it a year. That's true. Although that will limit our actions next year because of cash, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I still haven't got an orbital lab up. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, we could... Ooh. Actually, you do need to check those ones up to the north there because otherwise we can't create a, a biomass lab that studies for two because a person in a biomass is only one. So we need another person or another biomass. I think this is it. Yeah, I think we're going to... Yeah, we'll do that. I think, that's, I think that's better. Oof. <laughs> oh, it had to be, didn't it? Okay, well. That's fine. This that, is, this is a so good that, that bottom connection that you've done uh, between those two, you, yeah. you may want to unconnect the bottom colony from that mine. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, because that two-way connection is really good, but the bottom connection, while, you know, it's it's nice for interconnectedness and gives us five income five, per yeah. year, yeah. Uh, one of those freeloading people on that planet at the moment needs to start becoming a scientist, uh, and we don't want to end up with no people on that planet we can use. That's a good point. We will get one more. We will get one more at some point, but yeah, it's I think that's a good call. whole income from this year to do that. Oh, um well where can we get another another biomass colony or colony actually six and a half a dozen i suppose have we revealed something since we put down that swamp world yes okay I will say, I don't think it's necessary. That's back to the start of the year, by the way. So we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this connection if we don't want to. If there's something more beneficial to do. I mean, it might it might even be just more beneficial to do like a lab. Like just hedge our bets. Build it over here. Then hope we, that there's something biomass in this so area. It's so expensive for one. Like, that's way more expensive than an orbital lab, and it's giving us one science per year, and it's not even guaranteed to work. It doesn't even do the mission. It's true. It's such a, yeah, it's not a, not a great place to be. I feel like we've lost something in the simplicity of that uh, swamp world being a uh, another colony. I feel like we've lost the momentum with Orbital Labs because we're n we, we've not actually built it yet. I mean, we could just we could just do it. We could just do two of them. Oh no, we can't even I, do two of them yet. We, yeah, we can't even do two of them at the moment. But I I do think we need to get them like pretty soon. I agree. I agree. There is another option uh we could do this mineral world instead yeah it's way cheaper to do absolutely it's a two-way trade gets us like most of the benefits we obviously don't have a second connection in there but it's not the end of the world um what i would like to see is one of those distant like reasonables on the top right uh right sorry uh, yeah, if one of those two turned Oof. out to be a colony, that would be... Or one of the ones from the bottom two, actually, there as well. Uh, anything that could feed off of the Earth with the wheat in the center of the galaxy. So... It could make goods. It could totally make goods. But it needs to be able to make goods for more than one colony. Otherwise, it's not worth it. That's what I was. That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah. I mean, is it is it not worth it? I'm just just sort of checking here. So our income goes from. It increases by one, but it's mostly because our planet size increases. Yeah. Okay. You're not you're not wrong. I was just thinking, is it worth it? Because it actually expands our field of vision and allows a scan that is not just one singular planet, which I really. Mm -hmm. I, I was untasteful. thinking, is it worth it? Let me work it. Let me. <laughs> Flip it, turn it, Twerk and reverse it. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's 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 just the uh, you know the 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 cost of it in the long run. Unfortunate. Well, um, in the long run, we're all dead, uh, as somebody famous once that, said. That is, yeah, okay, that's fair. In the long run, none of this matters. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and good night. Um, uh, can we we yoink this? I think you know what I think we yoink this. I think we just need more intel. Yeah, do it. Colony, colony, it. colony, colony, colony. <laughs> what are you, a Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, colony called colony. colony. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, pretty awful name for a Pokemon. Yeah, it's it's a roughen, but it's not yeah. the worst they have. <laughs> what is what is the Trubbador. worst Pokemon name? Trubbish. Trubbish. Huh. You can't sound like the name that someone would use to sledge you, right? It's not... <laughs> it's too easy. You're, you're just giving them ammunition at that point. Trubbish, trubbish. 
Trubbish. Trubbish, exactly. Trubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Dormidor. Um, Ghastly. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that name's a bit, um... Ghastly. Bit ghoulish, but, uh, <laughs> I, but, but that's a perfect word for it, actually. Come to think of it. Uh, if, if you want to do that as, like, a prospective, uh, you know, goods lab up there at the north, I'm not incredibly angry about it. There have to be colonies there. I just, I feel pretty aggrieved. Like, this is... I feel like we should be in a, a much better position than we actually are. Like, I really... I feel perturbed. Like, there's just nothing. There's nothing... There's literally nothing else with the exception of this colony down here. And, well, I mean, I'm not even classifying this as a colony because it's so rubbish. But there's... There's nothing... There's nothing else. Mm. <sighs> Something will appear. I can't even... Yoink the food out of there. I mean... At this take point, I'm goods, actually... Take yeah. the goods factory. Yeah, I... Okay, that's nice. That gets us... That yeah. gets a decent scan there. Uh, is that... No, not a chance. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it is so singularly bad. It's okay. I've seen worse positions and come out of them, you know, worse for wear. Okay, Sorry, it was going to be an inspiring story, but then I remembered how it would turned out. You, uh, you came out worse for wear. That's exactly. The... Okay, I'm going to make the pitch for this scan here. Uh. Before you do that, can you check if the ocean planet has the ability to export one of its people to that forebear colony that we've got scanned? The forebear colony. Yes, that over we've to the got right. Scanned. Twenty-two. Negatory. Yikes. Yeah, scan. Uh, how are they going to integrate into our system? The ones down in that bottom corner that you're looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm, at this moment, I'm just thinking a lab in the middle, literally here. That yoinks, that yoinks the people, because it can go to, like, here, biomass, mm -hmm. and then the lab, and we get the mission done. We've got two Oof. goods. We need one more good somewhere. I don't like any of it, I, I, I gotta be honest, but, I mean, at this point, like, to be fair, out of all of the planets that we've scanned, we've colonized, like, half of them, so we're not in a bad place. Mm -hmm. It's just that we haven't been able to get any labs down or make any headway on that front. That's the, the problem. Precisely. Yeah, I think that scan. In fact, I... I think, uh, no, uh, no, no, you need, you need the ones to the south. Yeah, well, I, think that's, I think that's a good call. Plus, that puts us in a good financial position. That is... Not perfect, but it's not bad, and it would allow us to get the lab, which is what's important, if we do this. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think we have to. Okay, I mean, food-wise... <laughs> we, we can scan this in a minute to look for food, but let's... Yeah. That's just blocked by the uh, asteroid. I know, I know. But we're going to just have to... I think we just have to suffer the consequences of popping oh, up. Oh, absolutely. Unless you want to do that first. Mm, the only thing it accomplishes is getting us more money from the asteroid. I, I mean, I guess, yeah. If it, it's, it's plus six and it cost five to colonize and then the connection cost was what? Uh, five to colonize, seven. Seven. So it, it's, it's effectively trade. like we're just committing ourselves to that person being there and that rock being there and that being used in that way. It's so, not great because there could be something biomassy around here and that would yeah not be able to connect up, but it does pay I, for itself in two years. Oh boy. 
I it's it's also a size of our galaxy. I don't I don't think we do it just yet. I, okay, I think we're fine right. with just the two. Fair call. Let's pop the asteroid then. Mm -hmm. Let's build the lab. Could build it right there. Yoink. Yoink. Can't afford. Uh that won't get you it. I don't think there's any other combination that is going to allow us to get to get that up and running. Uh, is the there's eating the other forebear ruin. What that? Yeah. That makes me sad. It makes me sad too. I don't really want to do that. I also feel, is this the best place for a lab? I feel, mm, there could be something, there's probably something better right here, but I, I don't think we can take it, to be honest. So uh, you, if you want to connect, disconnect everything we have so far here. Just gotcha. Back it on up. Is there any more backing it on up we can do? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, here's a lab that we can do. Let's go to the north. Okay. See that up, Arctic? Up north. Yeah. Up north. Up north. Am. E bagum. E Right. This is this is not what I was looking for. Could you uh, could you make that a colony for a second? Sure. Oh, they're, they're a real colony. A, a real, a real, a boy. real boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll tell you, we've got that, uh, we, we've got that Forge World there. We are ultimately going to want this to be a colony. All it needs to do is trade with the uh, the Swamp World we already have. Doesn't and then doesn't we can work. Put, doesn't work. No. Um, now, if this is a bio producer down here, this little planet, this cheeky little highlighted planet, is a bio world, then that answers all of our problems. How confident, I, reps, I, I, are you I don't that's think, a bio world? I, I don't think the Swamp World would reach that bio world for the, the conversion you're looking for of biomass into wheat. Oh, no, it, sorry, it doesn't matter. I was thinking for a lab that could be... The lab already right has two. As long as it has one person, one person, and the, um, and the ore itself. That's true. That's true, but building a lab for just one singular person and a... Building a lab for one oh. research makes me really sad. It's sad. I don't disagree at all. Um, and I ultimately think that we, because that is going to have to be a colony, the thing that we have marked, right? We are going to need another production of biomass in this area. I would be entirely offended by the idea of taking this colony and then scanning like to the north and to the side and trying to get like uh, our biomass system set up here. This is a, this is an uncharacteristically risky play for for reps right here it's it's because like after we did the uh the forge worlds we now require something like this to be in a good position like things need to be quite efficient for us to be able to make money as well as research as well as everything else at the same time you're not wrong okay i would pitch i would pitch three scans one two three let's just do the first two first and then see what we see that's a five banger there Ah, whatever. So that's yeah, not that, bad. That already solves that one, but it doesn't solve biomass for us. Good scaffolds. That's, that's true. Uh, what was I going to do here? Robots there. Yeah, so that's that there. I mean, we could... We could build that now. <sighs> um... God, yeah, we could. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea for a bunch of reasons. And I think uh, having that northern uh, wheat producer is going to be really, really good as well. Because if any of the colonies are, or if there are any colonies to the north of the other forge worlds, we're going to be able to feed those effectively instantly. Yeah, okay, so that didn't get us... Uh, you know what? I actually take it back. I don't think it's worth building right now. Oh, okay. 
I think it's better to keep the to keep the cash and maybe do another scan. Sure. I think. I think we just suffer the consequences for a little while because. I mean, yeah, I I do want to see the biomass out to the right. I like I I need to. Well, it'd have to be the four. The guaranteed biomass that's hiding right behind these four planets. It needs to be there. Is the thing. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> superconductors could be on a desert world. Like that is, it's there as an option. Solar farms. It's it's true. It's a while away yet. See this. This is definitely biomass right here. If you want to call it. Good lord. They really, really didn't want us to research biomass over on this side of the map, eh? Okay. Wow. Uh, wow, that is just so catastrophically bad. Um, it happens. My pitch now is actually... Screw it, let's just get a lab. Let's just do a lab. Like, get the research churning, you know? Yep. So at least this, mm, at least this year wasn't a waste, right? There you go. Yeah, exactly. It all worked out according to plan. Oh, that, that sucks. It's a rough turn, but it happens. Uh, if we want to immediately finish off the Euphorian mission, we can try and do that. Yeah. Uh, and that would be, uh... Because we're ultimately going to be making colonies down in that area, so it would be that Forge world creating uh, goods. Uh, yoink, probably. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, I'll connect that up, and... Wait, uh, actually, before you check the new tasks, can it connect to the left uh, colony up there? L left up there. No. Okay. Out of range of that one. I mean, there is... Oh, yeah, it's going to be connected to colonies down here, definitely. Yeah, that's good. I, I To be honest, I think we're happy with this. I don't think this is a this is a bad place to be. Yeah. Could be better, could be worse. Okay, now we do ahead, have... Check out the tasks. We, we do have this if we want to, to build it. So if we were to do that... Yeah, we'd have to supply it with one. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Okay, it's... Yeah, I don't know if we end up doing it that way. Like, I think it's the silvered one, probably. Mm, I agree. For, money. for robots, yeah. Um, but yeah, check out check out our new tasks. Okay, we happy with we happy with where we're at. Yep. Okay. Right. We've already got two of the six science banked. If we're able to get a little bit more money. Mm -hmm. Uh, two way trade. We actually have. None. We no, do. We will have it. one. We will have one over here. Like that's a guaranteed two-way uh, trade. No, it won't. That's a two-way trade right there. So the the first one that you scaffolded won't do that two-way trade unless Vern has provided water. That's true. Which it can, but then that complicates everything because we have to make a thawing facility and then we have to get a person out of that, which means we then have to use the remnant planet to make. Yeah, it's it's so much complication yeah. for one two-way connection. Um, I, I think we desperately still need to increase our science and we got orbital labs. We need to start using them as soon as we can. Is it these two? I sure. think it is. Cause I think, yeah. I think the rewards are what we need, right? Like, I, I think that's, let's do it. Okay. All right. So, we got the scaffold up here that we probably want to fix. I mean, is there any way? There is, there's just straight up no way that we're going to be able to get biomass over here. Until we have... Until we let's, have let's a... look at our tech tree for a second. Okay. Mm, it's not going to seem to help us. Neither. At the moment, at least. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I can't see any that will super assist us with those problems early on. I 
Well, we just need... We need... Right, let's... In order of priority, we need money, we need science... And then we need to complete the missions. Yeah. I also... Yeah, we got... It's just so, a tough gig. The most money we can get is by populating two planets, and it's those ones to the south, and it's yeah. then connecting them in and making that a successful colony. Um, it's the densest income we can pick up, although now we have to find wheat for it. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's 36... Well, we can collect that asteroid as well, to be fair. It's it's true, it's true. But where else can we build? I think we do what you just said. Then we either pop an asteroid or get extra intel scanning out to the right here. I you know what you know what's crazy is that I actually don't think that the risks we have taken are overwhelmingly negligent or even super risky. They're considered you know, they're considered risks. I'll make I'll make a pitch for you. Here's mm -hmm. here's my pitch. Uh, we colonize this, this, and this. Pop the asteroid before popping the asteroid. So if we're gonna do it, I would do it like that. Pop that around. Not scan and probably pop two scans out or one scan out to the right here maybe. Then colonize uh, this. Then pop the asteroid for a grand total of 30 bucks. How do you ever plan to get the robot for that? It's a work in progress. We're gonna get a second, we're gonna get a second mineral into this into this. Via too. what? This this is not no, because an Isium planet that you're only colonizing in order to get that, that you can't even connect to is definitely a huge loss. I mean, it's it not a huge 10, loss. It's but we get 10 two back. Per year, we don't get 10 because we're not connected to it. Uh, is that the case? Yeah. I think we just get 10 for colonizing. Did you? Uh, no, well, I skipped over a year. Hold on. Let me redo that. Oh, no, you're right. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it's just a huge drain on our resources for no benefit. <laughs> well, that, okay, maybe you're right. We would get an extra 12 I think that asteroid in that connection it, is a great way to end this year. Would you would rather asteroid than, uh, than scan? Well, I mean, you are going to have to asteroid anyway. I suppose right. you're right. Okay. So. I do like the fire banger you just looked at. I think there's also another fire banger to the south of it. There totally is. Okay, let's let's do let's do those in sequence, I think. Mm-hmm. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come oh, on. Heaven. Oh. <laughs> That's not even possible. That is so grim. Oh, this is, this is very unfortunate. No, 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 no. This is fine. This is fine. Um, so the uh, directly to the south, there we go. Uh, that's got to become a colony. Okay. Wait, no, not uh, yes, colony. Hang on. Um, because it, it can become the Arctic farm, but the problem is it doesn't have much in the way of things it can reach. It can go to the swamp here. Yeah, that's it though. We can start colonizing some of the those worlds without actually creating the mines. That's fine. It's just. It's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. Because um, that, that swamp world is biomass, and it's biomass for people. And then there's people for biomass in the uh, in the other world across from it. So then it's just finding our wheat. Yeah, that's a two-way. Now, if this is a wheat planet down here, this one right here, we're in the money. Uh, 
Can you find the third over to the left as well? This one here? Could it be a three banger, I mean. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. That. Yeah, it totally can. I, I think we need to look at that as well. That's, that's it, dude. That's it. Wait, wait a second. That's it. It's it. 100% that's it. Look, this is, this is even, this is robots. Look. Look at that. It, it is, and it's incredible. It's just, we need to... Huh. I don't even think we wait for this. I think we do this. 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 It's... Frustrating that we're not going to be able to... You're wanting to get that connection, aren't you? The, the goods connection there, but... No. Well, I mean, like, ultimately, yes, but... Um... Also, we need to consider... I... Orbital this Labs is... here. This is definitely correct. I'm just sort of going through the motions here. Just, um... Yeah. Nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, was, were we gonna build this? No, there's no real... No real necessity for that. Although that could give us... Water, etc. I don't think it's worth, though. It could, and it's a two-way trade with the remnant planet, and then it can boost up that other... Uh, oh, ore planet if we want to get an extra ore transit out of there like it's it's good for making the system like much in fact if you make it a thawing planet and then connect it in yeah it's very and good, then actually. from the mineral across to the uh ocean planet as well that's swell and then we so have the asteroid as well it's pretty sick for our income, and in fact, that uh, that two, remnant two planet trades. and mm. that thawing planet can now get an Ezium to go up. The Ezium planet down to the bottom left, we can colonize that and get it running. Once we once we pop the asteroid, you're. Totally I mean, right. we pop we we colonize it and then we pop the asteroid. We actually get to do your play. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not my. I'm play. actually I can't kind claim. of fine with leaving a lot of this locked. The only issue that I have is that we did, uh, I colonized over the year. I'm wondering if there's a better play than that. Uh, there's still robots here as well. There are. I would love to use the goods. That's the thing that really... Uh, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe maybe we just eat the cost of the thawing facility, to be honest. I mean, it just seems so efficient as it, a connection it in there. It does. You're right. We don't even need to go from the mineral across to the, the ocean world. Not yet. That's true. Although, it does increase our income by 12. 12. That's crazy. Pretty good. That's... That's that's very good, in fact. Wow, that mm -hmm. feels that feels sick, actually. Feels like we have a trajectory now. I'll tell you what, we've got 60 gold. We might want to just go around and put some orbital labs down before the end of the year. Dude, it's funny you should say that. I was thinking orbital labs, I was also thinking lab labs. Uh I like lab take... labs. What what would we be studying in them? Uh, actually, at... if you it, sorry, uh, sorry, could you please undo back to the step before you uh, connected the uh, the mineral to the ocean planet? Because we can study. Yeah, oh, it's that sorry. one. Yeah, I can go further so we back. Can... Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, we can study rock there. We've got one person and two rocks. That would be a lab for two. It's not great. Can we get any more people? We can get another. We can get more rocks. Right here. We can get more rocks. Yeah. Right. Is there right any here. people from the north that can feed down to that as well? Uh, ooh, no. Unfortunately. What if it moved over? I'm thinking like hugging the... Ooh. No, that misses out on the other rock. I'm thinking hugging the top right side of the mineral world that we have. Yeah. Something in that realmy kind of area. Uh, it's mm. away from the colony on the south, unfortunately. That's it. That's it.
is that is that a that, that's a genius play raps i gotta i gotta give you huge huge props for that that is such a that's such a sick idea honestly that's that's filthy and you know what the, the, the crazy the crazy thing is is it doesn't even impede that connection like it's that's still super legit. Yeah, it, it doesn't impede that. Uh, but also, if we want an extra person there for an orbital lab, we can do that. But, but yeah. Uh, are we going to grow? Yeah, we won't grow any further. Uh, yeah, I think a two-way trade... That two-way trade is worth 12. An orbital lab is worth one science per year. We have just, like, blown past that with what we're doing right now, so... I... I think this play is... way better. Uh, there's not much else I can... We could finish the Easium lab before we do that, if that works out better in terms of time and money. Unless you're scared you won't be able to put it in the same place again. <laughs> it's like... Uh, it's actually, it's, uh, it's fine, because I think what we do is this connection, this connection, and then complete the circuit here. In fact, we don't even need to necessarily yeah. do that this year. We could always just... No, 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 no. That'll get us two more science this year, the one you're connecting at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I guess it comes down to whether or not we want science or money, because right now, 48 is what we're earning over the year. But if we connect the bottom two to that Isium lab... 59. It's 11, 11 more. How... So what is that? That's basically two science versus 11 cash. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound good when you put it like that. Yeah. I I think it is the I, I don't think we should colonize the the lab down there first if we're going to be doing it like that then. Well, the reason is because of the asteroid. The, you want to max the well, uh, Yeah, but why why would we pop the asteroid this year specifically if we're doing it that way then? Cuz it's still a have... net it's still net uh net positive 4 even though we lose two of the value from the two upkeep. It's still like net positive four for us to do it this way and because we just need the cash injection in order to get the 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 uh the extra the extra science over there i'm i'm ambivalent to be honest it's it's up to you i i just think we had better income on a different setup uh so that's maybe that's back before the the easium right there there is a world in which we just exploit this asteroid right now. We forego the six. There's also another potential possibility of doing that and then popping that, would be that asteroid. The... Oh, would that that's just good? Enough? Yeah. That, I think that's best, actually. What just happened, I think that's best. It, it's not perfect a for money. A lot of science. And but... we're only one more uh, person off for, uh, for completing... Sorry, one more person. Uh, one more person off for completing our uh, mission. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's good. How do you feel about orbital lab versus? It's not twelve. I don't, income I don't think we should do that. Can that? Can uh, that colony connect up to the uh, mineral world, or is that too far? No, sorry. Colony. I mean the the colony to the mineral world we just collected. Ah, yeah. Uh, ooh, it cannot. Sorry. That's a problem. Actually. Because then that makes this mineral world more viable. Can that mineral world connect to the lab, though? It can't, but of course there is the... <laughs> Possibility uh, the lab could be in a slightly better position and then allow for that. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's... Oh, I think that was a pixel that had both. It's it's long. He's there. there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's what is this? Oh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Tell me. Tell me the order that you want to do things in. What was? What was it? It was this. This. Oh, we now we don't pop that asteroid though. E yeah. that and then we're gonna run out of money um yeah that's that's the thing right because that's a 20 that's a that's the full the full whack mm -hmm. 
there is a world in which we just take the suboptimal return on that asteroid to get the extra science. Like I'm not against it. I mean, if we're going to do that, we should really do it. We should really do that connection. Pop the asteroid. Then get that connection. Because that gets us five science as opposed to literally anything else which would get us less science. Leaves I us like it. hanging a little bit of cash, but I think that's probably the best case scenario. Mm -hmm. And then we get this set up, right? Like, that's... Probably. Yeah. A no-brainer. Okay. Plus, we got a whole bunch of tech now. So, we're okay. Plus, we have Orbital Labs, which we should really try and get down at some point. Absolutely. This century. Uh, there is this connection, which no longer is a two-way trait. Because we've got the minerals coming through. Although, if we trade with other successful planets, then this can pog off. So to speak. Mm -hmm. Good income for the moment as well. It's a natural connection. Um, man, that planet up there is still real sad. It's it can be less sad though. We know how to make it less sad. Hmm. In fact, so can't do that. Otherwise, we're gonna have issues. Sorry, which? Uh, we're going to have issues because the people can't go up to the... People can't go from... Ariat. Yeah, up to up to here. They or don't have to. the lab. In fact. Well, it, it, it would be as soon as that is a successful colony, it would be able to send people back up there. Um, it's true. But yeah, but if it's, we want to actually be able to be. complete the, the Silthid quest, then we need to send down from the the Swamp World at the moment. Silthid quest is an easy one to complete. We just... Sorry, uh, not, not the Silthid, sorry, the Vittori. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Well, we'll that. That's actually a legit play right there. I think that's probably the best. Can, can we have a look at our, uh, our text now? Because we do have more unlocked. <laughs> the ability to harvest, just destroy a planet for income. Is it income that we get? That's pretty good. It just gives you money, yeah. Straight up money. It takes three months, though, doesn't it? it? Does take a mite of time. Uh, I think it might be one month. Just unlock it and see. Yeah, one month. That's 30 bucks? We could totally just start popping planets. I am not against this plan, to be clear. I think it's kind of dick and a little bit nasty. But it does lock us out of the xenotourism. Which I, I love tour. I love tourism, but I've, I've become attached to tourism before. And... Oh, wait, hang on. Before we make this decision... Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we should probably make this our final decision of the episode, whether or not we're going to start blowing up planets or turning them into tourist resorts. Uh, <laughs> and I think we should have a look at our galaxy and kind of get where we're at and see if there's anywhere that would be just a banging resort. That's true. Let's unlock resorts and let's let's have a little let's have a little look. Earth-like can... like jungle and what is the other one it can do? Uh, Earth-like jungle and ocean. And ocean. Earth-like jungle and ocean. So we're going to have to be considerate of the fact that the most efficient way that we can do it is going to be one of those adjacent to a forge world. So the first thing we do is look for a forge world near any of them. If we have any of them. There's that one. Can that connect to... Yeah, it looks like it'd be able to connect to there. And it'd also be easily funded by someone else. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad way to go around that. Uh, getting the people there is a problem, though. People there is a problem, but we're probably going to want a colony up in that top right anyway. Um, Not wrong. If you colonize the the uh, the tourist destination, can we have a look at order in which it takes things? Oh, yeah. so it's just robot and it doesn't even take a, a microchip anymore. Oh, that's changed. Oh my it's god, that means we don't actually need to be adjacent to a, uh, a forge world. We can be adjacent to remnants as well, which I think the one to the north is. Totally is. Literally directly adjacent. That that Taurus resort could actually pop level four really easily. Mm. Well, it, it, so it, it won't be able to get it from there unless we use collapse and blow stuff up. But we do it. Uh, it won't Which be able to get. Which we can still get, by the way. We can still we get can geo harvesting. Still get as well. 
<laughs> that's hilarious. Um, but instead, it would get it from the uh, the remnant factory and the remnant factory having the uh, oh, miniaturization. Uh, yeah, whatever. No, not miniaturization. We uh, we've got where is it? Oh, it's it's actually in tier this three one. flexible fabrication. Yeah, that's actually okay. So let's so the it's a while away. Is it is it worth it though? I mean, how much money actually is it at tier three? A great Besides, question. It's it's also only one. Like it's it's just one that we've eyeballed at the moment. There might be, although to be fair, there's like another. If there is anything else decent up here, or let's over, have a, uh, let's have a look over to the here. south actually. Yeah, and those, those are good spots for it as well. Oh, we haven't even got anything there scouted. Um, it's it's really good, but geo harvesting is also like a lot of money immediately, and we're not exactly we're not exactly crying out for money at the moment. So it costs seven to get the tourist resorts. It costs 16 to get explosions. So we would have seven left and then we would go over the year, we would get five. If before the end of this next year, we can get two more science, we can get Isium study activated next year and then our science is all taken care of for a while. We've got I orbital labs yeah. and we've got Isium I, studies. I actually think we'll be fine for science because we haven't even got a second orbital lab over here yet. And that's just a case mm. of, I mean, if we get... Uh, we get this, then we get a second orbital lab there. It's not not difficult to do, is what I'm saying. Okay. I... Do you, do you want to do you want to start demolishing the galaxy and setting up a bunch of tourist resorts? Yeah, I do, I just I'm. I'm just not sure. I mean, if we take both, right? That means that we can only take one in this level. Is there a second tech That's... that we want here? Uh, I, I don't think it means we can only take one in that level. Because so if we take not. one, if we take another tech, we will advance. And that means we won't be able to take tier zero. And then if we take two more techs after that, we'll advance again. And we won't be able to take tier one. That's true. So we can just straight up take both of these right now. Yeah. and do tourism and destroy the galaxy at the same time. Wow. It Capitalism be... is glorious. No. This is incredible. <laughs> what have I done? What what have we done? <laughs> this this could be the way that we get the entire galaxy brought to its knees. Just expanding everywhere, destroying everything left, right, and center. This will be how we bring the galaxy to its knees, but... We'll have to see what happens in the next episode. Oh my goodness, what a cliffhanger, eh? That's, hey. that's so exciting. I can't wait. It's gonna be it's gonna be very exciting. Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Slipways. I've been open potato, he's been Rhapsody. Links to the channels, all that nonsense, down in the description down below. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Adios.